Hello students, I am Nilanjana Senyal, an online math tutor from India. I tutor students of the IB and the IGCC boards from grades 9 to 12. This is my website www.nsonlinemathtutoring.com. You may visit my website to know about my tutoring services in more detail. Okay? Now, this is a word problem on arithmetic sequences or arithmetic progression. Okay? As I had said, they mean the same. So, the first question of this session is, in an arithmetic progression, the 22nd term is 4 times. Okay, let us, as we read the question, let us form the equations. Because this is a word problem, we have to form equations. And we know that the general term formula for a, in any arithmetic sequence is un equal to u1 plus n minus 1 times t. Where un is the nth term, u1 is the first term, n is the term number and d is the common difference. Okay. So now we are in a position to form the equations. 22nd term. Nth term is un, so the 22nd term will be obviously u22. Is means is equal to 4 times, means 4 multiplied by the 5th term, which is u5. Okay? So now we expand, we just put in the expressions for u22 and u5. What do we get? It is, let me just, okay. So u1 plus 22 minus 1 because it is n minus 1. So 22 minus 1 is 21 times t is equal to 4 times u1 plus u1 plus 5 minus 1, that is 4, d. Okay? Which is u1 plus 21, d is equal to 4 u1 plus 16, d. And from this we can get a relation between u1 and d. So, 4 u1 minus u1 gives us 3 u1 and 21 d minus 16 d is equal to 5 d. Or u1 is equal to 5 over 3 d. Okay. So, this is the relation that we get between the first term and the common difference of this arithmetic sequence. Now, we come to the second information. That is the 12th term is this part. So, 12th term is u12 is equal to 12 more than the 8th term, which is u8. So, what is u12? u12 is equal to u1 plus 11d, which is equal to 12 plus u1 plus 70. I'm writing it over here because I don't have sufficient space. So 12 plus u1 plus 70. Okay. Now we see that u1 and u1 will be getting cancelled and we are having 11d equal to 12 plus 70. Which gives us 4d equal to 12. Or d is equal to 12 over 4 which is equal to 3. Okay. So d is equal to 3. We have found the numerical value of the common difference. This is equal to 3. Therefore, what about the first term? What is the numerical value of the first term? It is u1 is equal to 5 over 3 times d is 3. 
So it is equal to 5. U1 is equal to 5. So U1 is equal to 5 and the common difference is equal to 3. We have completed solving this question number 1 or the first question of this session. Let us move on to the next part. Now we come to the arithmetic means part. What is the meaning of arithmetic means? If A, B and C are three consecutive terms, this is important, consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence, B is called the arithmetic mean between A and C. Since these three are three consecutive terms of any arithmetic sequence, therefore, since this is an arithmetic sequence, there will be a common difference. If we take the first two terms, we will be having B minus A. This should be equal to D. And if we take the last two terms, it will be C minus B. This should also be equal to D. Since both are equal to D, we may equate these two and we get this equation. B minus A is equal to C minus B. Or if we take the B, the this minus B to the left hand side or if we add a plus B to both the sides, we get 2B is equal to A plus C. Sorry, it is 2B minus A. 2B minus A is equal to C. And now, we add plus A to both the sides and we get 2B equal to A plus C. And finally, if we divide the entire equation by 2, we get B is equal to A plus C over 2. And we know that the average of any two numbers is the addition of those two numbers divided by 2. Therefore, this B is said to be the arithmetic mean of the numbers A and C, the previous number and the next number, succeeding number. So, this is the meaning of arithmetic means. Now, you may be remembering that we had solved a question in which we were asked to insert three numbers between two given numbers so that all five numbers form an arithmetic sequence. Instead of saying that you insert three numbers, they may have asked us to insert three arithmetic means. And our procedure would have been exactly the same. Why? Suppose we are asked to, we are given two numbers, two and five, and we are asked to insert two more numbers in between these two numbers, two and five, so that all four of them form an arithmetic sequence. So obviously, the two numbers will be 3 and 4. We do not have to do, this is such an easy question. We don't have to do any calculation. We can just directly write the answers as 3 and 4. Now, they may have asked us to insert two arithmetic means between these two numbers, 2 and 5. And we would have given them the same answer. The numbers are, the two arithmetic means are 3 and 4. Why? Because if we take 2 and if we take 4, 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 6 over 2 is equal to 3. If we take 3 plus 5, 3 plus 5 divided by 2, 8 over 2 is equal to 4. So, that is why they may be considered as arithmetic means. Okay? So, doesn't matter in which form they ask the question. If you are asked to insert some numbers between two given numbers and the entire sequence will be an arithmetic sequence, you have to follow exactly the steps that we had followed while answering the question. And I will be giving you the link for that video so that you may go to that video and watch that video to know how that question is answered in case you have not seen that video. Okay? So, this is all about arithmetic means 
And now let us solve a question which is connected to the arithmetic means. Okay. If 2x minus 3 is the arithmetic mean of x square minus 4 and 5x minus 8, find the values of x. Two x minus three is the arithmetic mean between these two terms. So this will be the middle term. Therefore, I write x square minus four, two x minus three, and five x minus eight. Now you may be saying, why shouldn't you write five x minus eight and two x minus three, and last of all x square minus four? Both are correct. You may take any one of these. I am taking the first one. Okay. And since these are the three consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence, there should be a common difference between these terms. And what will be the common difference? It will be if we take the first two terms, it is 2x minus 3 minus x squared. Minus 4. Okay. This is the common difference. And also if we take the last two terms. What will be the common difference? It is 5x minus 8. Minus 2x minus 3. I am equating these two. Because each is equal to the common difference. Of this arithmetic sequence. Okay. And now I open the parenthesis. And I get 2x minus 3. Minus x square plus 4 is equal to 5x minus 8 minus 2x plus 3. Okay. And now we take all the terms to one side of the equal to sign and make the other side equal to 0. So, and I want a positive sign attached to x square. So, it is x square. And uh, minus 2x and minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1. So it is minus 1. Plus 5x minus 2x is plus 3x. And minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. Is equal to 0. Or x square minus 2x plus 3x is plus x and minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 is equal to 0 and we may factorize this quadratic expression it will be x plus 3 and x minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so What will be the values of x? x will be either equal to negative 3 or x is equal to positive 2. Now we have given them the values of x but let us for ourselves check whether our answer is correct or not. Let us find the values of these three terms. When x equals negative 3, x square minus 4 is negative 3 whole square is 9, 9 minus 4 is 5. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, negative 6, negative 3 is negative 9. And it is 5x. So 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, negative 15, negative 8 is negative 23. So is there any common difference between the numbers? I find the common difference between these two is minus 14. Minus 9 minus 5 is minus 14. And what about the Minus 9 and minus 23. Minus 23 plus 9 is also equal to minus 14. Right? So, 
Yes. X equals minus 3 is indeed one of the answers. And what about x equals 2? Let me write the three terms over here. When x equals 2, 2 square is 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And the second one, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Third one is 5 times 2, 10. Minus 8 is equal to 2. So this is also another arithmetic sequence where the common difference is equal to 1. Okay. Obviously, if you take this one, this will be, if you take uh, x equals 2, this will be 2, this will be 1, this will be 0. Again, there will be a common difference of negative 1. So you may take either of these two sequences. But you will be getting the same answer. Same values of x. x equals negative 3 or x equals positive 2. Okay. So students, let us stop over here for today. We will be meeting very soon in our next session. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Please give this video a like in case you found it useful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And do not forget to press the bell icon. You will get notified as soon as I publish a new video. So bye for now.